Hi, Steve with Brownells, and today we're going to put the primary weapon system's enhanced buffer tube into this receiver, along with the ratcheting castle nut and the ratcheting end plate. So here's how we start. We screw the castle nut on with the notches facing rearward, just like you always do. Get it all the way back, out of your way. Put the end plate on with the ratcheting portion back facing toward your castle nut, because it's got to engage those teeth, and start it on in. Now before you forget, put your buffer retainer and spring in, depress that, and I'm going to use a scribe to depress it the rest of the way. Here we go. There we are. Now straighten out your buffer or your detent spring. Put the castle nut up here at ratcheting. Take a wrench. I'm just using a light wrench from Rock River Arms. It's all you need for this job. We are not going super tight. Bring it around. And when it ratchets in place, you're done. No staking, no Loctite, nothing needed. The ratcheting system keeps this in place until you put a wrench on and take it off. Nice and secure. And while we're here, we might as well put the enhanced buffer in from Primary Weapon Systems. This is the pistol variant because this is a pistol. 9 millimeter pistol, and there you go. Nice and easy, doesn't take long, but it's a great enhancement for your firearm. Thanks for watching.